Hi folks, this is a short video tutorial on how to navigate around your Blackboard course with me. This is for Social Work 206, Introduction to Social Work. First of all, I want you to notice that when you click on your Blackboard course, this is going to open to the announcements page. And announcements are a little like my taking the time at the beginning of a class that you might have in a classroom with me where I say before we get started. There are a few things I want to tell you and it's very important that you know this. So always check your announcements. The new announcements, generally speaking, should be loading on top of the older announcements, which will remain below so that you can check back. Sometimes in my announcements, I have uh, information that you may want to have later on in the semester. So these will always be here for you to look at. Additionally, when I post announcements, they're going to get sent to you in your UAA email account. So Always be sure to check that account for, for any information I might be sending to you. And, and uh, also, again, just kind of double check again in the announcements to make sure you're not missing anything when you check into the class. Now on the left is the course navigation menu here. And pretty much everything you need to know about the class and everything in the class is, is um, available here. This is, by the way, pretty much how your, your Blackboard is going to look for you in this class, with the exception of this gold banner up here, orange banner, which is just telling me that I'm looking at this as though I were a student rather than an instructor. We have a slightly different view when we set the course up. So first of all, the, the, the top link is the start here item and if you haven't uh, particularly if you haven't taken a course with me before but even if you have and if you haven't looked at this please do look at this because this will introduce you to some of the structure of the class and tells you some of the things about blackboard also uh, there's a little bit of information about me which is also available in a link in the course menu. Uh, the picture, by the way, that really is a real silver salmon that I caught. It was a real beauty in the Kenai River one day, um, but that was about 10 years ago, and I'm a little bigger and a little grayer than I, than I am in this picture, but I prefer to think of myself like that. Um, otherwise, there's information here about the different items in the menu and how you access certain things, how you can uh, work a little bit with Blackboard, how discussion boards work. And there's also a statement about uh, netiquette, that is, you know, the, the ability to uh, behave properly online with others. And this is something that's very important for you to be familiar with and to read, particularly if you're not used to online courses. Um, and so be sure that you have uh, check through the the start here item and understand everything in it clearly next down the of course there's announcements and then is the syllabus and if you click on that item you'll see there's a link to the to the uh, course syllabus for the semester for me I have to for some reason I have to um, save it and, and before it will open for me but that is probably not the case for you so we'll just get that out of there and um, the other thing is I really encourage you to download the syllabus and print it and keep a hard copy around at all times for you it's just a good thing to do now it might be revised here and there as I say and if I do any minor revisions to the syllabus as the course goes on I'll be sure to advise you of that and post the, the changes here as well and then what I have done otherwise is breaking down each section of the syllabus afterwards so this is pretty much a repetition of what's in the syllabus but if you're looking for anything in particular there you, without and you don't have the syllabus handy um, there it is um, an interesting little thing, by the way, about using this, if you notice here when you move your cursor over this little gray area, you get this arrow. Sometimes the arrow actually isn't there, but what this does is it uh, makes the menu go away. And so, especially if you're working on smaller screens, I have found that this almost happens automatically. Once you select the menu item, the menu disappears. And what you have to do is put your cursor back over this uh, this little bar here. And if it isn't dark gray, it turns dark gray and it'll reopen it again. So it just looks like it turns like that color. So that's, if you lose your menu, that's where it is. So in any event, uh, there there's the syllabus, and if you have any questions about what's in there, uh, certainly, you know, you can access it there. 
This is uh, the weekly course content button. I'm going to come back to this in a moment, but I want to tell you a few other things that are in this menu. Here is the course calendar, which is, again, also in the syllabus, but this tells you week by week what chapters you're going to be assigned to read, when the tests open and close, those kinds of things, in case you want to plan ahead a little bit. Here's also the testing schedule that tells you when each of the two objective tests open and close. They're open for 11 days each time. And it also tells you a little bit about the grading timelines for uh, uh, well, both your posting timelines as well as the grading timelines for discussion board and journals. So that's something if you want to know all this is under course calendar. The assignments link, you're only going to see a couple of assignments here, but as the semester goes along and new assignments are are given to you, the, they will appear here as well. So this, the way I have this set up is you only um, have things appear to you that you have already had assigned. So just so you don't worry about what's coming. And when you when there is an assignment, it says go to the assignments link and click on the myth of the culture of poverty. Uh, you do that, and here's uh, here's the article right there for you to read. And that will be here. Here is uh, uh, another. Well, again, once again for me because it's a, a document, a PDF document. It wants to wants me to download it, but you again you may or may not have to do that but that's what the assignments link is for board and journal grading guidelines will give you um, a description again of uh, how to make a good post for full points and when the when the um, posts are graded those kinds of things and also here's an excellent example of a great journal entry and how i'd like to have them structured uh, a little bit about how to write professionally and and being constructive and respectful um, there is then um, a link for your discussion boards. Now, you can also access through your weekly course content, as I'll show you in a minute. But these are the discussion boards that we have uh, accessed so far and have responded to. And this says I haven't read these posts, but that's only because I'm a student here. Not I have, I have read the ones up till now, despite what that says. Um, so when you get to the journal for the week, all you do is click on the, the uh, title of the journal and it opens you up to a place where you can create a thread and begin an, a new discussion, make your original post that way. Journals look a little different and again only the ones that have been assigned so far will be open to you but if you click on the journal and you want to make an entry here again are your instructions about grading and, and timelines when it's due and you just create journal entry and you can start that whole process. There is also going to be later in the semester um, an item over here called your project group and also uh, group project grading guidelines, I think it's called, or something like that, instructions. It's going to appear right here once the group is assigned as well. And we'll give you all that information about how to manage a group and give you access to, to uh, a place where you can, can um, interact with other group members. Once again, instructor information and um, here's my phone numbers, both cell and home. Um, no one else is taking the messages off of any of these phones, so you can leave messages and consider it to be private. Also, my email addresses. Now, the university prefers we communicate through the alaska.edu address. I can also tell you my Comcast address is private because no one else is here to look at it. And, and I'm, frankly, I'm frankly going to probably see the Comcast emails a little quicker. But in all cases, I am endeavoring to respond to you within 48 hours, hopefully less when you do write to me. And there again, you can see there are other information. You can access your grades in the course here. You can uh, uh, email other members of your class if you want to. Down here is student help. And I actually have two items for student help. But this gives you a lot of information about, uh, for instance, you know, uh, support for e-learning, as you see over here on the right hand side. Here's, a, here's a, a link into disability support services for those of you that may be dealing with a disability and need some additional support from that office or through special things in the course, that type of thing. And so all of these things, here's technical support, here's IT's phone number, there's an email address for um, IT down here somewhere as well. So. All, and, and also, it's also nice that they have particularly information regarding some of the uh, outlying campuses because I know some of my students, uh, some of my students are in, at those locations. And there's another student help um, I know I just haven't removed, but it just presents the same information differently for those of you who prefer this kind of presentation. Now, back up to the weekly course content. I believe this is the most important link in the course.
course and this is where you're going to access all your all your information about what to do each week now again only the weeks that have uh, come to us will be open in this so i'm actually recording this just after october 1st and so so um uh, the, the subsequent weeks will not appear until the date uh, Sunday mornings of each week is when the new a new section open. So let's look at week five here, poverty and troubled families. And this is the way it's going to pretty much appear to you. Another thing you're going to see over here is there's a course menu here, uh, a module menu rather, that tells you, um, I don't know if I can move that over, I guess I can't, that tells you... Um, you know, where all the, the each one of these represents a pain in the course. An interesting thing here, too, if you look up here, you can make the menu go away by clicking on that if you want more space in your page or whatever. So, you're going to see an opening pain written by me, which I hope you read, because this kind of tells you what I want you thinking about when you work through this, this learning unit. There will then be the module level uh, goals for the week, the kinds of things that I expect that you will be able to learn through this, through the participation in this module. Then the reading assignments, and it will tell you what chapter and what text, as well as um, well any other articles from the assignments link. And you can see I have a summary of each of the of each of the main points in those readings for you. Then you start into my lectures, and these will generally be lectures related to the chapters in the books that I assign. Now, these lectures are on YouTube, and all you have to do is click on the red arrow, and it will begin to play. And one of the things that I do, just so you know how to manage your time, with each video, you're going to see a prediction of how long the video is going to take to play. So you can kind of hopefully plan your time that way. Now, there are usually is somewhere between two and four lectures. Um, I do this because I'm trying to break this up into something a little more uh, manageable for you. Uh, you don't have to sit and listen to me for two hours solid or whatever. And incidentally, the total time that you're spending on these lectures, whether it's four of them or two of them or whatever, is uh, considerably less usually than the amount of time you're going to spend in a classroom with me if we had a face-to-face -face interaction, just for what that's worth. So if it seems like there's a lot of things to listen to, keep in mind that that's really our classroom time. Now, after the lectures, uh, and after you have listened to them and you completed the readings, then you go and you and you go to the, the discussion board. Now, again, you can click, you can reach your discussion boards over here, but the way I prefer to have you do it is to do it through the through the um, the course. And so you click the launch, the the module rather, I should say, and it takes you right to the discussion board page. Now, you'll notice that there isn't a a next button up here that we were using and so you have to when you get into the discussion board and also with the journal use your browser back button and it'll use your browser back button and it will take you back to the class where you can get back to the rest of the panes likewise for your journal click the launch and you take you go to the journal page you saw earlier you will find um, slides from each of the powerpoint lectures in case you want to uh, print them out or you know use them for study anything like that uh, and then finally um, a closing summary where I try to pull all this together for you again I write these things myself these opening and closing summaries so I hope you do take the time to read them because it's sort of my opportunity to kind of get you thinking the way I want you thinking so anyway that's that's uh, pretty much how the course goes and if you have any questions about working uh, how to how to work through this at all please let me know um, you have my contact information and I'll be very happy to do all that I can to give you a hand so thanks very much for listening hope this uh, hope it goes well for you